We are using mechanical, fluent, and system coupling for an analysis with two-way transient fluid structure interaction. In this video, part two, we will set up the system coupling system and solve the coupled analysis. Now that the structural and fluid systems are set up, we will couple the two systems using the system coupling system. First, enter the analysis settings. The end time is 10 seconds, the duration of the transient analysis. This number must be less than or equal to the time duration set in mechanical, and it overrides the number of time steps in fluent. The step size is the time interval at which data transfers are resolved. It defines the step size in mechanical and overrides the time step size set in fluent. The coupling iterations occur within each coupling step. We'll leave this default value of 5, which will allow for both of the data transfers and both the structural and fluid solutions to reach convergence within each coupling step. Next, create the data transfers. From the list of the structural and fluid regions, select the surfaces that will be transferring data. Right-click to create the two data transfers. The first data transfer created transfers displacement data from the structural simulation to the fluid simulation. The second data transfer created transfers force data from the fluid simulation to the structural simulation. Before solving, ensure that restart data is being recorded. A coupled analysis has a lot of systems interacting, and it's always best to be able to restart if needed. Restart data is different than results data. Restart data is controlled here in system coupling and should be set to the frequency at which backup points are needed. Results data for post-processing is set in fluent and mechanical. Updating the system coupling solution will start both fluent and mechanical's solution processes, both of which you can watch solve here. The solution process, as well as the data transfers, are controlled by system coupling. The solution is now done. The system coupling log file is here. For all coupled analyses, it's important to check the mapping summary at the top of this file to determine the quality of the data transfers between the interfaces in mechanical and fluent. Each coupling step is listed with details about its coupling iterations. The coupling iterations in each step continue until fluent, mechanical, and both of the data transfers have converged, or until the maximum number of coupling iterations is reached. Remember, we left that value at 5. Back in the project schematic, connecting the structural solution to the fluid results allows CFD post to display both the fluid and structural results. We have finished the coupled analysis. Here's a look at an animation of the final results. In this animation, plotted results show the pressure and the velocity field in the fluid domain and the von Mises stress on the thin plate in the structural domain. In part one, we set up fluent, mechanical, and system coupling systems in the project schematic, and we reviewed the settings specific to a coupled analysis in mechanical and fluent. In part two, we set up the system coupling system and solved the coupled analysis.